play this character. This character has an unbelievable legacy, but there's a real personal quality to the character that I've connected to. I felt that he was the perfect fit in terms of age and performance. So, we made him an offer. I'm not a gamer, and I even knew about this game. I was certainly keenly aware of the legacy of these games, the unbelievable success of these games. Kiefer immediately understood what I was looking for. I was very moved by his commitment to the project. Well, I've never done the facial capture before where they stick all the metal dots on your face. Everything from a smile that's like, like that, or one of them is a monkey face, which is the most embarrassing to do, which is like, like that. And it's so that they can catch every line that changes in your face. The face of the character in the video game is doing exactly what I'm doing while I'm reading the script. That's impressive. As technology improves and game hardware continues evolving to adapt to these changes, we developed a new game engine called the Fox Engine. It's one step closer to creating photorealistic experiences within the context of a game. Meeting that challenge required that we shift from creating characters by hand to capturing real-life actors in 3D. By using their physical likeness along with their voice, facial expressions, and movements, we can create believable, photorealistic characters whose performances are closer to what you'd expect from live-action movies as opposed to traditional video games. That's one of the first goals I set for this Let game. Let me give a brief overview view of what the Fox Engine is. The Fox Engine is the engine created in-house here at Kojima Productions. This is an actual photograph of our conference room here at Kojima Productions. Here, the image on the left is the photograph, the one on the right is rendered in Fox. You can tell which is which quite easily by looking at the differences in the assets. But if you focus on the lighting, they become very hard to distinguish. Now I would like to show you the actual Fox Engine in action. It sure does look real. Uh, this is a soldier that has appeared in the Phantom Pain trailer. Uh, this is a soldier that appeared in the Ground Zeroes trailer. You can see that he looks a bit wet from the rain. And here are the details of what the weapons do look like. We think it looks pretty real. Because we have a real-looking environment, it is easy to spot things that do not look natural in our created assets. These images of cloth and leaves are from look development. The left image is rendered in Fox, the right is a real photograph. In order to make uh, one important character for the game, we made a photo-real sculpture and scanned it. The character in-game is over 100 years old, so the wrinkles and sags and skin needed to be accurate. We constructed a clay mold from the actor and then added special effects makeup to the mold to create the final character. The blue objects shown around the model are the cameras. The cameras took pictures of the model at these coordinates. The 3D model and textures are then generated from the, these photographs. And now we'd like to give a brief demonstration of a 24-hour day-night cycle. And here is a, uh, an example of skin using translucency. This is with translucency off and with it on. You can see the softness of the shadows near his nose. Here is a short demonstration of how cube maps are captured. You can see how bright the environment became when the cube map was generated. The trailer we released last year of Ground Zeroes took place at night and in the rain. Here is a demonstration of the same trailer but taking place during the day and sunny.
All the materials used have not been changed, only the light. Since the material parameters are correct, the visuals do not break down even when the light is changed.